Hello! Welcome to my yarn room! Wow, I am actually in my yarn room. How did this happen? I don't know. Let's see. My husband went to work. Uh, Willie went to baseball practice. And Hunter went over to his friend's house. So, I was like, the house is amazingly quiet. But, the good lighting has gone. I thought, you know what? I'll just use the lighting that I use for lives. It's kind of nice when I don't have to go out to the car because I've got all my yarn stuff all around me. <laughs> I go all around the whole room. <sighs> Which, okay, I really am getting organized. I really, really am. And to prove it, I have a couple things to show you. Okay, I don't know how much you guys get on Instagram or if you even see me on Instagram, but I <sighs> wrote two patterns. Actually, I wrote three patterns and they're on Ravelry and Ribbler now. And I'm trying to get them on Etsy. I haven't quite figured that out yet though, because I'm kind of... You know, I can be technologically challenged, but I'm working on it. So anyway, I just think it's a great accomplishment to get them on Ribbler and Ravelry, and I'll show you what they are. Now, I've had quite a few people, and forgive me if I'm not real good. I get Sometimes I get my YouTube Yarny friends and my Instagram Yarny friends mixed up. But I do have a bunch of yarny friends that tested these patterns for me. Check this one out. This is my bubblegum ice cream beanie. And it's supposed to be a little slouchy, but I've seen a lot of people, a lot of my testers, that made it more form-fitting. And you know, you can do it either way. Can you guess why it's called bubblegum ice cream? Check out that color. It looks like bubblegum ice cream. <laughs> and it's got this scooperific, scooperific thing on top. So anyway, you know, if you're in the mood for a good hat pattern, head on over to Ribbler or, or Etsy to try it out. Now I've also got my Chunky Valentine scarf. And I'm really happy with this. It is very warm. And the best thing about it, look at those bobbles. Here, let me see if I can stand up a little in my chair. See? Bobbles. <laughs> oh, I still have to... Yikes, got to weave in an end. So, now imagine how cute you would look going out on Valentine's Day, just like this, or like with a hat that's the same color or a scarf that's the same color. I don't know, I had fun making these. But anyway, I am just super excited that I've been organized enough and, you know, and if I'm not organized enough, I can't get my headspace all together to even think about making patterns. And these are my first three patterns ever. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see what else has been going on. I got package from Annie's. Annie's that I can't break up with. And I got a knit crate package. Now I'm wondering, should I open them all in this video? Or should I make another video? I think I'm going to make another video because, uh, I kind of want to tell you more about some stuff that's going on 
because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys for a long time. <sighs> okay, so this is what's new in the Yarn Geek world. Um, I got Yarn Geek merch! <laughs> They're over on my Etsy shop. And I think... Yeah, I know they're on my Etsy shop. I've got a blog, but I haven't quite figured the blog out yet. And they're going to be on there, but they're not yet. But definitely on Etsy. And how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Now, I did tell you the story about my logo, didn't I? That my daughter was home for Christmas a few years ago. And she was like, Mom, you need a logo. I'm like... Okay. And then she's like, Mom, you need a name. Like, I have a name. My name's Mom. <laughs> and then she was like, no, for your yarn. So I was like, well, I love yarn. And I'm very much a geek. Yarn geek. So then she drew, whoops. Then she drew that. She was just like, oh, here we go. With a little black sharp, actually one of the big fat black sharpies. And the Yarn Geek logo was born. I think that was back in 2017. So it's been a while. Anyway, I'm working on putting some more Yarn Geek stuff out there. <laughs> Sorry, I just love looking at it. And then what else is going on? I'm on a bit of a yarn buying hiatus because... Christmas and January birthdays. January birthdays, if I haven't told you yet, I have Anthony, Willie, Veronica, and Casey. Three kids and one husband birthdays all in January. How does this happen? <laughs> so I'm, I feel like I always feel like February is the beginning of a brand new year because all of this stuff is over. At least, you know, for a while. Get a breather until... Oh, my grandma's birthday is on February 6th. My mom's birthday is on the 23rd. Well, it's not much of a break. And then my son-in-law... <laughs> Well, people are just being born all the time. So, well, anyway. I'm sure you don't want to hear about my family. You want to hear about the yarn. Okay, let me show you what else I've got going on. Because, oh, okay, as you know, I, uh, I hop on Saturday mornings with Kim. And we have the Affordably Crafty Live every Saturday. Well, this Saturday we were talking about mittens. And I still haven't crocheted the thumb onto my mitten. Where'd it go? I was sitting right on it. There it is. <laughs> so I made the mitten, which I'm going to be making a pattern for. Um, and I'm going to put the thumb on. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I still need a crochet thumpkin on, but isn't that pretty? And the reason I made this was because, where'd it go? I have a matching cowl that I made for it, and it's down here somewhere. I think it's in here. You guys, I'm sitting in my yarn nest, just living the good life. Okay. So here is my cowl that I made. Check this bad boy out. It is Alpine Stitch Velvet Yarn. It is so warm. It's warmer if you put it like kind of inside your jacket here. So warm. And that goes the mittens. <laughs> I should make a matching hat too. 
it's so velvety. Now, I got all obsessed with velvet yarn. And I was like, I haven't mosaic crocheted anything for a long time. And I did this all yesterday. Actually, I started a little bit on Saturday, but then I did some more on Sunday because, you know. <sighs> yes, it is mosaic velvet. I'm not sure about the shape of those hearts, though. What do you think? It's for a baby blanket. And look how velvety soft. You know, I don't think the baby's going to care that the hearts might look a little wonky. But do you guys think they look like hearts? I think they do. Yeah, that looks really cute. <laughs> See, I have to get my friends' opinions, my friends meaning you, on these things. Otherwise, I don't know. Because I ask the boys in my house, and I'm like, I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> I love their brutal honesty. So anyway, <sighs> yes, I'm sitting in my yarn nest. And even though it may not look organized, I'm feeling much more organized because I've been using my planner, my handy dandy crochet calendar planner. And this, even though I got it two years ago, actually it might have been a year and a half ago, and I started using it, I only got through like a month of using it. So the rest of it was blank and it has the days that are like, oh, this is cute. <laughs> it has the days that don't have the little things written in them. So I'm getting the opportunity to use it now. And this planner is by Boy Yarn Crafts. I don't know if they have a new calendar for this year or not. I haven't checked. Oh, and of course a coffee ring. If you guys can see that. So anyway, that's what's new is going on in my world. I've probably got a couple of other yarny things, but honestly, I just keep, can't keep track of them. This is the pattern that I'm writing up next for this cowl. And I don't know if you can see that stitch. It's kind of hard to see the texture in velvet, but boy, I can feel it. What, can you guess? Can you guess what stitch that is just by me holding it up? Like, it's really hard to tell. You can tell when you're here with the velvet, but you know, otherwise it's kind of hard to see it on the video. But anyway, I'm going to make another video now, too, because I don't want this one to get too long. Otherwise, it kind of gets boring. You might want to go to sleep in the middle of it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I've never tried to sit here and watch myself and see how entertained I get. So anyway, you guys have an absolutely fantabulously wonderful Monday. Oh, and I will be, uh, I will be making videos every Monday and Thursday. That's when my videos, that's my new video schedule. So for sure, sometime on Mondays and Thursdays, there will be a new Yarn Geek video, but, um, not sure on the time yet. I'll get that worked into my schedule. In a perfect world, I would post it like at 9 o'clock in the morning on Mondays. That's the goal. That's what I'm headed for. 9 o'clock in the morning, Mondays and Thursdays. So let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Everybody needs a little yarn consistency in their life. <laughs> okay. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.